Five things I wish I knew before getting into affiliate marketing. What's going on Wolves? Eric Ellis Jr. here back at it again with another video and uh, the lighting looks kind of crazy right now but don't mind it we're in the sunny side Florida right now and I wanted to go ahead and shoot a video on what I wish I knew before I started affiliate marketing to basically maybe help you avoid some pitfalls and, and some embarrassment and losing some money and all that extra stressful bullcrap that you run into when you first start um, affiliate marketing and just business in general. But before we get into the good stuff, if this is your first time coming across my channel, my name is Eric Ellis Jr. I'm a serial digital entrepreneur and I teach people how to crush it online, right? So if you like that type of stuff, hit that subscribe button, hit that notifications bell, and join the squad, right, Wolves Nation. And if you guys um, are already in affiliate marketing and you're looking for a mentor, get access to my inner circle by clicking the first link in the description. Now, let's get into the business. Now, when I first got into affiliate marketing, um, the first thing that actually drew me to the uh, business model was that you didn't need your own products, right? You didn't need to deal with customer fulfillment like e-commerce. You simply just promote people's products, you get paid a commission, right? Now, when I first started, I had the improper guidance, right? I was doing it all wrong. What I used to do was uh, I started off within the biz op niche. What that means is business opportunities, promoting make money online opportunities. And the way that I used to do it, right, is I was trading my time for money, right? So the first thing that um, I wish I knew is that you don't want to trade your time for money, right? You want to learn about automation, sales funnels, email marketing, driving traffic on autopilot, right? The wrong way to do it is when I first started and it was so painful right i was getting rejected 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 because i was always inboxing people in the dms right sliding in the dm i was uh i was texting people in my contacts and it was so embarrassing facing all that rejection and people saying what you're doing is a scam and all this extra bullshit right if i would have known about automation ahead of time my life would be so much easier because i wouldn't have to deal with the constructive criticism i would have to deal with people saying what i'm uh, promoting is illegitimate and all the negativity of those people who really don't want to elevate in life, right? So that's one thing that I'd highly recommend. Now, another thing that I wish I knew was how to use my phone, right? No, I'm just kidding. Uh, but is that, believe it or not, you need a lot more traffic than you think. And what I mean is, is you need people to see your offer. If people don't see your offer, you're not gonna go ahead and get sales, right? Now there's this misconception, a whole bunch of people always reach out to me, they said, look, I'm not getting results within my business. They're like, okay, cool, how many people have seen your sales presentation? They're like, yeah, I showed a few people. I showed a few people. Guys, the average, a really good sales presentation converts anywhere from one to 3%, right? Let's break that down. One to 3% of 100 clicks is one to three sales. That's not even talking about the front end of your, your um, funnel, meaning if you put like a landing page. And I'm not trying to speak jargon if you're, if you're a complete beginner, but basically what I'm saying is you need a shitload of visitors to actually generate a realistic income, right? Now, here's the thing. If the product that you're selling is a $30, $30 commission, right? If it's a $30 commission, and you're getting one sale per day, right? That 100 clicks, 1% 1 of that is literally $30 per day. Now let's be honest here, an extra $900 per month would do well for people, but it's not gonna go ahead and get you rich. It's not gonna be able to allow you to quit your job, right? It's not gonna be able to do that. So realistically, you need anywhere from 300 to 500 clicks per day to generate a realistic income, right? So I didn't know that, right? And um, that's basically something that you want to take into consideration. When you get into affiliate marketing, you're going to need traffic, right? Now, another thing is before or when I got into affiliate marketing, what I wish I knew is you're going to lose money, right? And I was so afraid 
to do paid ads because every time I did paid advertisement, right, my my ads just wouldn't make it, right? I, I wouldn't succeed. So I was like, dang, this is I'm wasting money. And guys, it takes money to make money, right? You don't learn something unless you fail over and over again. So get that out of your head. You're gonna fail, you're gonna lose money, right? It comes with the territory, but eventually you will succeed, right? It only takes one successful ad to make you a bunch of money, right? Because that ad is gonna make you commissions. You reinvest that those commissions into that same ad and so on and so forth, right? Now, another thing that I wish I knew before getting into affiliate marketing is with paid advertisement, you need to split test, you need to optimize, right? I used to think it takes one lucky ad, right? I would put one ad up and then I'm gonna go ahead and be rich. Guys, that's not how it works. You need to put up multiple ads, right? You need to split test. I don't know what the heck split testing even meant, right? You need to split test everything. Right, not even just your ads, but even your sales process, right? So you need to always be split testing and optimizing and improving because that's the only way that you're gonna be profitable, right? Is if you're testing, testing, testing. And that's why a lot of people fail because they don't test, right? Another thing that I wish I knew before um, getting into affiliate marketing is that you should always be promoting something with back and upsells. Now, what does that mean? If your initial product that you're promoting is a $30 sell, right? After a person purchases that product, there should be an additional offer. And after they purchase that product, there should be another additional offer. You should always be upselling, right? You know how they say in sales, ABC, always be closing? I believe in affiliate marketing or just digital marketing, there should always be additional upsells. Now why is that important, right? What is an upsell? An upsell is simply when somebody makes a purchase, and after they purchase that $30 product, they're offered an additional product that is congruent with that offer. That's going to, from the advertisement perspective, is going to increase your overall earnings per customer. Now, why is that person, or excuse me, why is that important? If I'm selling something for only $30, or if I'm selling something with an initial sell point at $30, but then it starts upselling people, right? It's going to increase my overall earning per customer. My average earning per customer is called LTV, lifetime value. So if I'm selling something for $30 and something with all these upsells, the average I might be getting for this may be literally $90, right? It's gonna increase what I'm earning per customer, which is important for paid advertisement. If you're selling a product that sells really well, it converts really well, but there's no upsells, right? How are you gonna go to make money with your paid advertising? You have to be really, really, really get good at paid advertising. If you're just getting into affiliate marketing, that's most likely not the case. So it gives you more room for error the more uh, you're gonna make per customer, right? And another thing that I wish I knew before getting into affiliate marketing is stop being so fucking cheap, right? I was so super cheap, I didn't wanna invest into myself. And if I could have done this all over again, I would have invested in the paid courses much sooner, right? Meaning when you invest into yourself, you're literally buying this person's mistakes. So what do I mean by that? Somebody who's already been in the game for a long period of time, they're gonna literally show you, look, this is how you do it correctly. This is what you need to avoid. I've made all this money in this industry, right? Instead of going through your own trial and error, go through mine, right? It's like having a basketball coach. Somebody says, you know what? I've been playing basketball for 10 years. This is the right way to do it, right? Avoid all those mistakes. And that brings me to my last thing, right? One thing that I wish I knew before getting into affiliate marketing is that you need a mentor. Now, it's not guaranteed because not everybody has had a mentor. Obviously, some people, the, the, the people who started out never had mentorship. But at the end of the day, guys, what happens is when you don't have mentorship, it's gonna go ahead and take you way longer to succeed. Time is money, especially within this business. If you could literally invest $500, right? Hypothetically, invest $500, but that gives you the skill set and the, and the mindset to save you thousands of dollars in paid advertisement and mistakes and to expedite your success process to where you're gonna be successful much quicker, Right? Wouldn't it be a, a benefit for you to where if you're making $5,000, $10,000, $20,000 dollars per month, wasn't it worth that initial investment if it got you to that dream income level much quicker? I'd say so, right? 
So if you guys are looking for a mentor, as stated in the earlier uh, part of this portion of the video is First thing in the description, you guys get access to my inner circle to where I literally hop on live coaching calls with you guys, teach you guys everything that I know, and number two, answer your questions to figure out where you're struggling within your affiliate marketing business and how we can solve those problems and get you one step closer to succeeding and living your dream life, right? Stop struggling, kick the link down below, take action, and I can't wait to help you guys out. Now, those are what I know. Um, if there's additional problems that you came across as an affiliate, Feel free to comment them down below. I'll go ahead and read them and reply and see if I can relate with you as well. But hopefully you've gained value from this video. I appreciate you guys for tuning in. Hit that subscribers button, hit the notifications bell, join the family. Also, click the link down below, get access to the inner circle, and your boy will see you on the next video. As always, Eric Ellis Jr. checking out.